going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today we finally got a new update for this game but we got info on a much bigger update which is literally just around the corner. So we got a ton of stuff to talk about nonetheless and if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button below and you can consider it your good day of the deed, your good deed of the day not your day of the deed. And hey if you could just send me one like just one like, it will be a record, okay? Thank you in advance. So, first of all, let me just cover the patch notes for the patch that came out today, which if you haven't updated, go ahead and do so right after this video. So, it's actually version 1. Well, it's 1.2.5, all right? And then for the PC, it's version 1.0, build 12.11. Now they did say the biggest patch is going to be version 1.3 which is said to be the largest yet and will resolve bad states for bugs and it's all of the stuff that's fixed in the previous version as well as hundreds of smaller quality of life issues. So I don't know how well how big that's going to be in file size but that's going to be the ultimate update. So we're going to be talking about stuff on that throughout this video. So first of all what does this patch include that you got on your console today? Well, this is what it says, and it says word by word, first of all is it resolved an infrequent bug where players are unable to progress with the campaign due to an infinite loading screen. I know that was a big, big problem and a lot of people were finding alternative ways to actually speed that up, but thankfully, once you update it, this should no longer be a problem. The second one is that this patch does not resolve the fix for those who have already encountered it and that is bad save states but it will be resulted in, well resolved should I say, in version 1.30. Now the important thing on this, I mean this is talking about people basically losing their game right now. If you watched the video that we were, well I uploaded like yesterday or the day before, we were talking about Spoonzil who is a really cool guy in the community and basically he was level 50, most of his characters were maxed out and basically it just reset him right back to level one as in literally when he loaded up the game he had to do a day all over again so he was super frustrated and I guess this is I guess some type of an answer to that now he isn't the only person there have been a few people that um, of course we were talking about losing suits right but there's been a lot of people well, a lot of people as in a good enough right that have lost their entire save file so hopefully that does get resolved so if you basically were that person and it has happened to you I'd probably advise just to mess around in the game and not progress seriously until this gets resolved just so of course you don't have to grind for nothing in some sort of way now the next thing is that it has addressed majority of instances of a particularly loaded helicarrier which resulted in the characters infinitely falling out of the world when trying to access the Avengers initiative and when they say falling out of the world I know a lot of people actually had the the problem with just falling onto the helicarrier itself so you can actually roam about and of course we've done a glitch on that as well how to get out of the helicarrier I don't know if that still works but I think that was kind of like one of those cool bugs that are cool at the beginning when you actually accidentally glitch out but then it, it of course it just becomes super annoying so I'm definitely glad that is resolved but hopefully we can still glitch out of it because that was definitely a ton of fun then it says there are rare instances where this could happen but the, well it can basically happen still should I say sorry but the patch ensures that loading back into the main menu and then returning to the Avengers initiative will resolve it and we are still working on the fact to eliminate this bug entirely so it could actually still be a thing. Now next up is campaign mission reward outfits will no longer disappear from cosmetics inventory of course that was a big problem it says this presented as costumes that were previously unlocked through campaign progress such as the Stark Tech outfits reverting to a locked state. So again if you're purchasing suits etc you should all be good now and we shouldn't have this problem at all again. Now next up it says we prevented this from happening in version 1.25 but the patch does not return outfits for those who have already encountered it and that is bad safe states but again it will be resolved in the next version. So if I have to say you know their biggest thing to tackle at this moment in time it definitely is the fact of these bad saves it's a huge huge problem but I'm glad that 
that what? The game has officially been out for just over four days, well five days, we're on the fifth day, right? So, I mean, considering we've got technically two patches within this time frame, it's definitely a positive thing in my opinion. Now the next thing is that marketplace and challenge outfits will be restored and no longer become relocked in the cosmetics inventory UI because that was a problem with marketplace and challenge cards specifically. Now it said this presented as costumes were previously locked, uh, unlocked sorry through online play and such as hero challenge card rewards, pattern drops and faction vendors basically all revert into a locked state so that's resolved now. Then it says updated community challenge UI that now reflects current community progress again that's something we well first of all we got the uh, new challenges that are available but again for a majority of people it just simply won't show up so now it should show up straight away we then have backup saves UI uh, U uh, improvement sorry and then a low time optimizations and lastly this is for Xbox specifically but it says achievements should now unlock and increment properly and we are still investigating if all achievements will will be granted uh, retroactively and our current theory is that story based will but challenged based won't um, but again we don't know if there'll be something that will probably be implemented in the next patch hopefully it will be now on reddit there is a dev called Megan who seems very active on the mega thread regarding bugs and actually dropped all of this info yesterday and of course it only went official today so I guess the second we get a further update through reddit or whatever it may be regarding the bugs I'll I'll definitely keep you guys posted now just an interesting thing they did of course give a friendly reminder that there's only a few days left to complete this week's priority missions which is stark realities and you got enter the avengers and again these all essentially give you rewards and so much of it so much more there's a ton of stuff to do in this game so definitely check out those stuff if you haven't already and i mean i'm just really looking forward to the next patch hopefully it is going to just solve all of the bigger problems that we we do have but again we can only wait and see but I mean in terms of a release date hopefully next week for that because we're on track to I guess them reacting to things very very quickly so that's gonna wrap up this video here if you missed the early uh, the video I uploaded earlier it's actually the Avengers show where we were talking about things that should be added into this game etc so it's very much you know a community type of video so definitely check that one out if you haven't already and that's gonna wrap up this one here so as always subscribe for more awesome content if you haven't already i'll see you in the next one till then don't forget you can check out all the playlists for this game as well as well as a bunch of different things all fun glitches that we do find as well so there's a ton of stuff going on but i'll see you in the next video till then have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day and adios amigos